Okay, we just finished the first two layers. Let's go ahead and start on the last layer. Now, up until this point, you've been doing the Jessica Fridges method. You get the cross, you get two pairs, and you put them together. You put them in the right spot. Now, we're going to do the last layer. In the last layer in the Jessica Fridges method, there's two steps. There's the OLL, which means orient last layer, which means get all of the yellow face, uh, get all yellow on the top. And then there's permutate last layer, PLL. You might have heard of those terms, OLL and PLL. PLL is where you put all the pieces in the correct spot. Now, that's two steps. For the simple, to make this tutorial easier, the simplification of this tutorial, I will be showing it to you in four steps. That way it makes it a little bit easier. So we're going to do the OLL in two steps and the PLL in two steps. Okay, let's go ahead and start with the first step, which is getting the cross. Okay, from the regular layer by layer method, you already know this algorithm. It's the uh, through rough, some people call it. Front right up, right inverse, up inverse, right inverse. There you go, cross. Now that's if you have a bar. Now if you have the L, you can go ahead and do it and get the bar. But I'm going to show you a shortcut real quick. If you write the algorithm out on paper, scratch out the R's and the U's and switch them. And what that will do is that will take the L and make it straight into the cross instead of going to the bar and then repeating it again and then, and then getting the cross. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to do front and instead of doing right, we're going to do up. Up, right, just switch the two. And then again, switch this to again, R prime. Sorry, U prime, R prime, F prime. The F stay the same. Just the U's and the R switch, and the uh, the primes or the inverses also stay the same. Just the letters change. And there we go. We already have the cross on top. Okay, let's go ahead and get to the next step, which is getting a solid color on the top layer. In this case, yellow. Um, now, after getting the cross, you can learn up to six out al seven algorithms to help you do this, or you can learn two. And basically what it's going to do is it's going to get solid yellow on top. Now, for the sake of simplicity of this video, I'm going to start by showing you um, two of these to make it easier. The first one I'm going to show you is soon. This is soon. Okay, S-U-N-E. Soon is where you have a little fishy looking thing. See, like that's the head and those are the fins. And it's kind of swimming this way, swimming little fishy. Okay. Um, where the fishy is in the bottom left and there's a piece facing you. That's the important part is you have to have a base or the top color facing you. If it's not facing you, like in this case, so you have the fishy but it's not facing you, then it's not the right one. This is soon when it's facing you. And this algorithm you already know from the layer by layer method, except you used it for something different. Um, it's where you're trying to get all the edges in the correct spot and you would find two and you'd put one here and one here and that switches the other two and that way you have all your edges in the correct spot. Soon in this case is going to get you the full solid yellow. So luckily you don't have to learn a new algorithm for this step. It's right, up, R prime, U, R, U2, R prime. Easy. Okay, so that is soon. Let's go ahead and do the other one, which is anti soon. This is anti soon. When you get the fishy, and you'll notice there's no piece here, rotate it 180 degrees so that there is a piece here. That's the important part, is you always have to have yellow facing you, or whatever you choose as your top color. Um, so if you don't see it here, rotate it around, and there it is. Okay. So soon, anti soon is the same thing as soon, which is the one we just did over here, but all the moves are done in reverse. So this is what anti soon is. R, U2, R prime, U prime, R, U prime, R prime. And there you go. You got the full thing. Um, if you want to write that out, basically you can just write out soon and then write it in reverse. And it's the exact same thing. Um, it's just the opposite of it. So those that is soon and anti soon. But what happens if you don't have a fishy? Let's say you have a plus. This is another um, case that you could have. Now don't worry, you can choose to learn another algorithm for these if you want to, but we're gonna use soon and anti soon to make it a little bit easier. So let's go ahead and start with this cube. You'll notice we have the plus and we have two off to the side. So for this, we're gonna hold it in this position, 
two off to the side, two off to the side, and do soon. And all you'll notice, we'll get soon. From this point, you can just go ahead and do soon again and get your top. Now, this is a very similar position, but we have two going off to the side, but we don't have two going off the side over here. In this case, we have one in the front and one in the back. Again, all you have to do is do soon in this position. Make sure it's not rotated any other way. Off to the left, one in the front, one in the back, on the right. And we're going to do soon. And it leads us to soon again. So we can just do soon one more time. And there we go. We have the solid yellow on the top face. This is another scenario. Instead of having one on the top, you have two on the top. Now this is the first one you can have, where it looks like headlights facing you, yellow headlights. All you have to do from this position is do soon. And you'll notice it doesn't lead to soon this time like the other two did, but it does lead to anti soon. So just do anti soon from this position. And there you go. The other position is very similar, but instead, instead of headlights, it's kind of like side mirrors. You have the two off to the side. So you're going to rotate it so that those two are on your left face right here and do soon. And there you go. Now again, these two lead to anti soon. So instead of doing soon, do anti soon. And there you go. Those are the those are some other two cases you could have. Now the only other case that you could have is what I like to think of as a diamond or a figure eight kind of looking shape. Um, this is basically what it looks like and all you have to do is make sure you have one in the front left and one in the back right. So kind of like that. So make sure you're not holding it any other position just like this and do soon. And that will lead you to anti soon. So just do anti soon and there you go. Now those are all seven cases, but you only had to learn one algorithm. You already knew how to do soon, and all you have to do is learn anti soon, which is very easy since it's the exact same thing but opposite. And those are all the seven cases with only using two algorithms. Now if you choose to, you can learn more algorithms to make yourself faster, but with any of these steps you can learn more algorithms. I'm just using a simpler method to help you go a little bit faster as a beginner. So let's go ahead and go to the next step, which after the OLL, which is orienting the last layer, which we've done, all the pieces are oriented correctly or flipped the right way. Now we need to go to the PLL, which is permeate last layer, which we're going to put all the pieces in the correct position. So let's go ahead and do that.